All right. Oh, it looks like we gentlemen to the PS2. I don't even think we saw rock, paper, scissors, but that's how we do. It's good for both characters, I think. Yeah, yeah I don't think PS2 is really bad for anyone, is it? Peace with the great spacing. He's got those back airs down. Yep, Dating there's another one. He just played footsies with that hitbox. That was wild. I feel like Peace really also, like, is good with the shield. I've never went against a pit where I'm like, oh, you're actually using this down B and it's fucking me up. Like, oh, yeah. Yep, as a good way to just, when you've got, it seems like when you've got a good mix-up in mind, that's when he'll throw out his shield. It just makes you up defensively. That Dude, was, that was dang, a rough he just stock. gimped him hard right there. I don't think I think that's one thing that's also really hard to get used to for the matchup with uh, Pit is the arrows. Like, oh, yeah. you know. Wow, that was a really good answer though. Yep, and Peace has switched, uh, has been trying out Dark Pit over Pit because he likes the increased damage and knockback of the arrows as opposed to the extra control. Um, he seems to just go for them when they're in relatively in line in front of him. So. What's the difference between their side Bs? Uh, as I understand it, Pit sends straight up, and Dark Pits is more powerful, worse frame data, but also sends them more sideways. So it, it has a lot more kill potential. A lot Interesting. Oh, oh, that was a great spike. Yeah, that, that MJTV did not expect that. This kid, this yeah. kid right here. Piece really just been on the up and up. Yep. I feel like also since it's like new-ish, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us will like subconsciously underestimate him, but lately, ever since I've ever gone against him, I just go like as ham as possible. Oh yeah, you have to play all out. Like there's, <laughs> he will spike you, he will camp you out, yeah. he will overwhelm you. He'll do everything. He'll do it all. He'll combo you. Oh yeah, his he has confirms. huge combos. Here's uh, I'm gonna tell you a secret that I'm waiting for with peace. That's gonna send him even to the next level. That was a that was a hell of a game. Yeah. Um, when he starts parrying, mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. there's down tilt uh, confirms that Pit has that are potentially kill confirms. That of course if you shield right. drop, you don't get the frames for it. And I feel like parrying, just straight up like good parrying, comes just from raw playing. There's not oh, yeah. there's no other way you can even emulate that. Even with the bot. Like, I try parrying bots, and most of the time I can't really do it. Like, I have to parry humans. They don't have habits. Like, yeah, the habits true. aren't quite yes. right. There are some multi-hit moves that you can do um, reliably. That's that's about the only thing you can practice with CPUs, unfortunately. But I can see a switch here. Yeah, I was going to say, that felt pretty uncomfortable for Falcon. Yeah. Yep. Good frame data is actually really advantageous in a pit matchup. You got to do a lot of dashbacks, a lot of baiting out his uh, disjointed but slow aerials, and uh, and then punish, and that's how you get in. Oh, nice! He just instantly. Uh, oh, and he taunts too. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> baits out the taunt. Came on, let's go. Imagine if Fox had a combo throw. Uh, that would be <laughs> busted. No, we have dragged down Ariel, so he's good. Right, and uh, just just the fast fall Nair is on its own such an amazing tool. Yeah, and now down here. Whoa! Whoa. Crowd liked that one. I don't know what it is. Fox comes on screen, Smash game, people just get happy. Oh yeah, you got to. I I love Ultimate Fox. I think it's such a cool. Yeah, I, honestly, like I, I know like it's always way different from melee, but look how fast he is. Like he is like in there. Yep. Amazing backer. He just runs it right back. He has some extra credit, but not really much to shake a finger at. Oh, great, perfect shield though. Oh, that might do it. The that drag might do it. Oh, great, saving his jump. That was ex some extreme <coughs> patience there, too, by yeah, Peace. Yeah, a lot of other people would have burned it. Look at him. He's not, well, that, that time he did, but for the most part, he's not trying to punish those safe falling nares out of shield, either, uh, which is smart because Fox can frame trap those if he wants to. Yeah, I feel like at the same time, though, like his nair is so good. Oh, that's a bummer. I feel like his Ouch. nair is so good that uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> Lagless. Yeah, that was raw. That was intense. And that's, see, I like uh, from Peace, he's looking for mistakes that he can capitalize yeah. on. He was very prepared for something like that. Oh, oh, just getting extra damage. Just relentless offstage here. 
and Fox does not have a ton of recovery mix-ups. The, the only thing you really got to do, that was good. The only thing you got to respect off stage with Fox is, uh, yikes, that was rough. Yeah, that was amazing. Like, there was no messing around there. Good games, guys. GG's.